Most people in America are familiar with the brand name Target and others. One of the challenges we have when we take over environments in the community is that we don't exactly know what's going to be produced. When we produce these communities, we might be putting in communities around lakes or maybe they're man-made lakes. But what I'm learning this morning from a marvelous person who really cares for the environment here is that we have a problem and that people can see the Target sign, but they're not smart enough to go around the block to presume that the Target building is behind these marvelous trees and lake where a lot of fauna and a lot of beautiful birds live, sleep, and eat. The sadness for our community is that we have to teach our children how to mind the environment. And the only way we do that is when we have those moments of time with our kids on the way to a store and we happen to see something beautiful of the Lord. Meaning we see that red heron that's up in the perched in the trees, or we see those duck and those geese that are sort of milling around and yes, they do poop on the ground, but you know what? That's what animals do. So kids of all ages, even adults, enjoy feeding them and looking out for them while they're here. Everyone knows that a geese family will fly off in the fall. They go south for winter, allegedly, or something like that. That's what we're always taught. But at the same time, we also know that hunting season comes around and they produce for certain families, and I don't know what you do with the goose, but that's not the point. The point is, at what point do we find the balance between our mid-level employees who are marvelously offended by fauna and trees and our corporate executive branches who are looking at the overall brand of Target. That most people recognize that when you see a Target sign, it's really, really rare that there isn't a Target there. And it's really, really rare that it's not about 100 to 200 feet off from its original sign. So what I guess I'm questioning in this community and I'm questioning to a 30-year-old employee who might be a part of this decision-making process of plowing down all these marvelous trees where ducks and geese like to get out from underneath the sun or take a break from their travels as they fly through our town is exactly what do you think we're going to do when there's no more fauna and foliage that produces for us food, that produces for us a place for bees and other things to root. And I guess I'm wondering is at what point does corporate America impact the environment? In America, we have rights to be ourselves, and I personally get a lot of peace and mind after I've had a difficult time with someone to go across the street in front of this great store Target and have a chance to sit for just a moment, to stand, to be at peace when I see a five-foot crane literally in that pond, despite the fact that garbage is blown around and blown into the pond. And I'm sad that those companies don't pay someone to take a pontoon out and pick that stuff up or that the local university doesn't come out with their biology students or their, their zoology students or whatever you call this uh, aspect of DNR, Department of Natural Resources, to clean that up. We have a lot of fabulous geese family that live here. We've had a lot of rough ones that have flown in and left here. But the reality is we don't have the right to chase them off because they are a part of our whole cycle of life in America. And my curious question is not to target, because I'm not picking on them. I'm talking about the challenge of a mid-level manager that is sort of confused about people, and me, maybe. And what I mean by that is that the assumption that people, because people can't see your store, they can't find your store. And I just don't believe that. Most of us, once we see a sign, presuming we've got the general direction on our uh, GSM networks or our phone networks and our, and our driving friends who, like Jeeves, who helps us get places that will find your store. In America, we have rights to both have nature and nurture. The nature is that wonderful environment that God places around us, and the nurture is what we do to hire the right people who communicate to you. If you cut these trees in half, they're going to die and then you're gonna have a mess. And that wasn't right. You see, the challenge wasn't that these trees were put in. The challenge might have been that the designer who put them in didn't know enough about the types of trees that should have been there, or maybe at that moment of time, when they designed that part of the community, it was a totally different plan for you and me. And maybe it was supposed to be a place where families could buy food from the grocery, go out on a picnic table and sit down and really value the Target store. But again, I can't say. I wasn't back there. I wasn't a part of that business development network. I don't know if the pond was naturally here, if it was put in and man-made. But what I do know is that there's a lot of animals and a lot of uh, flying birds that stay there on their way to someplace else. 
And at some point we have to decide are we going to keep killing everything to make our towns and cities? Or are we going to do something marvelous which is to raise them up and tolerate them 